his playthrough of Detroit Becoming Human. Yes, and so we're doing something a little bit different. We thought instead of us sitting there watching and complaining as we watch the other people make their choices, some of which were obviously wrong, why don't we just let the players play their own game by themselves, and then we'll record everything, and then we're going to come back and watch it together. And that way, the other people, the other player can complain about how the other person was doing everything wrong, and the other person can defend themselves. Well, I think that's a fairer way. And plus, we probably get different playthroughs here, because who knows what I did, for God's sake. I was just doing stuff randomly there for a while. I don't know what he did with her Kara. <laughs> I always play Kara yeah. as super sweet, but I don't know how he plays it, because we usually play it together. So I play Kara, and then he plays Connor, and then Marcus, and then we trade with Marcus. Mm -hmm. But this time, he gets to play Kara, so I don't know what he did. That's right. And so, uh, now to be fair, we both have already played through Detroit Become Human at least once or twice already. So we kind of have a sense of how things play out. In some ways, this is us exploring <laughs> and different choices Him. we didn't take. Well, and in other, in other ways, it could be us just crafting the story to what we want to be or what we want the story to be. So let's see Let's see what we did here. This, this now, uh, the clip we're going to watch is from Detroit Become Human chapter titled Kara New Home. Kara is Kara. a... Um, six Emperor Tyran from <coughs> seven. Kara, if you must. Kara, new home, mispronouncing it there. Kara's new home, and where she is taken home to her owner's house named Todd, who lives somewhere in Corktown in Detroit. Um, okay, let's go ahead and start the tape, shall we? Yeah. Can maximize that. Coffee's Black Rifle Coffee, by the way. Silence or smooth. Good afternoon. What are you doing? You're just sitting there. We might have to edit this part out a little. I hope so. If a man has not discovered something he will die for, he's not fit to live. Uh That's a quote from Martin Luther King. I thought you'd Martin like Luther it. Martin Luther King. In case you did not get the socio-political metaphor happening already, there you go. I think I was waiting for that. <laughs> you were like, I'm waiting for her to say something else. I think I was. That, maybe that's why I did it. I'm going like, to see what she says. Yeah, because sometimes it's... Okay, yeah. It's this is car now. By the way, you hear, I, the, I, the song I, you hear right now should be her main theme. I'm a big fan of the soundtrack. Philip Shepard is the by the way, depressingly accurate rendition of Parts of Detroit right here, at least circa 2020. But this song you hear should totally be amazing. It plays like almost every time you play her. He does not agree with me, but it should be. Coming? No. We build North Cork Town, huh? Better place to live, Detroit. A little stuffery. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of. Sorry about that. God damn it, where the f brat gone now? Yeah, where did the Alice? Go? Yes. Alice! Father of the year, Todd. Oh, Father of the year. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. All that crap. Got it? <laughs> you know yes, you Todd. Need to edit that. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. She's like, I'll start upstairs. As you wish. At this point, I realized that this was kind of a little too much latency, so I went into change some of the settings here yeah i see that i i said nah we're, we're taking that one down <laughs> apparently medium there we go you're like what do i have to do i wish i had one of these in real life I'll tell you what Very good at balance. 
Balancing. Well, she's designed for this. To be fair, the house looks worse on the outside, yeah. but it's not too bad on the inside. It still could use a coat of paint. Look at that. Yes, but still, it's not too bad. Although that's interesting. The dishwasher Depends looks like it needs need. to be painted, right? Yeah. You usually don't paint dishwashers, but whatever. I guess you could. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. You're like... Uh, Odd cabinet design. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring it tomorrow. Well, yeah, same place. You know. You know listening where. to that? Why I was having trouble with this? Right. <laughs> okay, this after the third point, you knew it was something wrong with my control. Yeah, same. Something happened to me at one of the other, not this one, because this episode, one of the one of the chapters you haven't seen. Yeah, it was one of those. I was like, oh, I need to, I need to do something. I'm not telling you what. And it was like, oh no, now they, now they found me. Yeah, he's all dying. By the way, does anyone note the irony of the, of the robot using the robot dishwasher? Kara! Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. Bring Todd a beer. No TV and no beer make Homer something something. Go crazy? Don't mind if I do! She fits so much stuff in that small trash can. Well, if, she, if you squash it well enough, you'd be surprised how much those standard trash cans can hold, I guess. Where are you going? I don't know. I'm just gonna walk around. I think I was looking to see if there was any trash to be collected in the laundry room. I couldn't remember. No, there's not. You, you only do the laundry. It's also the neat thing of watching this after the fact. You're like, did I really just sit there and stare at that for 12 seconds? <laughs> what was I doing at that moment? I don't remember. I like how they, her footsteps echo. The footfall changed as she walked I mean, walked she the is supposed to sound. And look, I was saying they paid, they paid attention to the. De they sweated the details when they made this game, and that was very much in its favor. You don't pick up the stuff? Explore this. I think a lot of players miss this one. The ability to just walk around. I thought I was curious how far she would go. Nope, not that far. I don't want to see if she could go a different direction. Should she sneak in the back? Nope, it won't let her. Well, no surprise. And then I was like, can I get into that truck maybe? Steal the car. And actually, I don't think that was Todd's car, is it? Yeah. Was it? Was that what he was driving? That Ford? Yeah. Looks like a Ford. Yeah, that's his car. Hmm. Yep, they won't let you go around. They won't let you sneak around. Nope, not allowed to explore. Well, which is a game. which is a great way to reduce the amount of world building you have to do. <laughs> you're dealing with robots. You just say, nope, that's not what you're trying to do here. Going. Language, Todd. God. 
We have a lot of things to edit. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to keep it clean, Todd. So I'm going to have to go in with Adobe and scrub your filthy language out with a bar of soap. Oh, did you go outside? I did go outside. I went this is one of your bit. first times, because I always, I'm always... I don't think I ever went out here when I played it before. I only, I think I only did a, the full playthrough once or twice. By what are yeah, you doing? I, I, Why didn't you get the laundry? Because I'm expl I'm just seeing what I can play with. I'm just looking around, seeing how they built the thing. That was part of why I went out here. I see, can I go this way? Well, let me go out then. There we are. You're like, oh. It doesn't look like a laundry basket. Oh, I guess yes, it does. it does. It would look more like a recycled basket thing. Yeah, oh. But you're right, it's laundry. Kara acts as if she's never seen a child in her life. She's like... Perhaps she hasn't. It's not very nice out. You might catch cold. I could get you a sweater if you want. I think she's already wearing one. You look bored. Would you like to play a game? Shall we play a game? Let's play. Global Thermonuclear War. Fine. I have seven. Correction, eight. That's eight red birds, two degrees past apogee. <gasps> Apparently not. She's like, oh. Red ice. Mm -hmm. Red ice. Apparently it's cocaine laced with blue gear. You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. It makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Todd. You stay the of my business. so classy. Alice is like... Does he... Well, just... it, it's an interesting conundrum there, too, because he literally is treating his robot like she's a real human with emotions that can feel fear, right? And when he tried to choke her, it's not like she tries to breathe. Right. Yeah, it's not like she has to breathe at all, right? That's yeah. a very strange reaction. That's a very strange approach. Like, dude, you can't choke I keep a robot. my robots in line by threatening them. Okay. Then don't they just do what you tell them to? Hmm. Activate the vacuum cleaner. Oh, that's red. What's he doing? I've made a good start down here. You didn't I'll head upstairs. The vacuum. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. You didn't activate the vacuum. It was optional. I didn't feel like hanging out with Todd anymore. I'm like, you know what? I'm kind of... This I is all optional. It. I've got it done with Todd. Let's go do something else. Did you look at the bill? Nah. Go check out my playthrough. I did. It's I, not, I looked She's it. She's there to clean up. She's not there to read bills. That's not part of her job. She's not an accounting <laughs> android. She's not an accountant. She's a housekeeper. That's how I was playing it. Tidy. Tidy it. Mm. You you have to, Daddy. Let's ventilate. For re if you've not played this before, for reasons that will become clear later, I decided I was going to avoid tidying up everything <clears throat> in 
this room. Wait, can you? Wait, but then how do you? Stumm, stumm. I know, I know, I know, but then. Watch it. Wait. Classy, Todd. Wait, what? Clean the bathroom. Here we go. Wait. The huh? Huh? <laughs> you hmm. found it. Antidepressant. Risky behavioral disorders. Uh huh. You we learned that Todd may not be totally in control of his actions here. It's not just illegal drugs he's using, but he's got a prescription for some. Oh, and he also has a gun in his For some mental issues. Yes, and he does have a firearm sitting there in his bedside. Man, that floor was filthy, Todd. Oddly enough, the uh, towel pattern, if not the filth, kind of reminds me of our master bathroom. You know what I mean? That kind of bluish or turquoise color. You have, have, to, you have to go bathroom. to Alice's room. Did you forget? Did you forget? Wait, you never finished tidying Todd's room. You're still going to have to do it. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Okay, that was a little creepy. She was like, is that okay, Alice? He doesn't wait for a response. She didn't say anything. Well, it gives her a chance to object. The path is unlocked. I love that unlock symbol. Oh, I've unlocked something. Excellent. And by the way, just because you've unlocked something doesn't actually mean it's a great or wonderful thing either, as we find out later. <laughs> as we found out from my playthrough. <laughs> Alice's room is tidy. Hey, what's up, little girl? Hmm. Yeah, there's a book on the floor. Alice in Wonderland. Of course. Palace in Thunderland. <laughs> yeah, for me to pick up the book. And you still have to tidy Todd's you room. You still have to tidy Todd's room. They're not gonna the game will not let you progress without tidying Todd's room as I discovered. <laughs> but I wanted to play with it. I wanted to see if I could avoid tidying the room completely. But it is not optional, and you have to hit every I knew tidy it. block. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. But I figured I'd experiment a little and see what we could do here if there was a way to avoid certain tasks. Tidy. Okay. Just some bills. Ah, <sighs> uh, trapped a bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. I bet one of those bills is for Kara. No doubt. I bet it's that one that she's looking at. Mm -hmm. It's probably. I bet it's that one. I bet yeah, that's, that's how the much bill. you cost, Kara. It's not. You're not cheap. You're not cheap. <laughs> that's how much you cost. Nope. You can't just leave. You gotta go back to tidy Alice's room, even though we finished tidying. No, it it's Todd's. Todd's. No. You never finished Alice. No, there's still a task left. Ah, oh, the guitar. That he will never ever play. <laughs> Don't have to read it. You see? Tidy Todd's room. There's one more. That TB is not one of them. 
Uh, I guess this was it here. Okay. Ah, the chips and the vodka bottles. <laughs> That's when you know you're on a. That's when you know you're on the wrong path. You've got like empty vodka bottles sitting next to your bed. It's like you couldn't have even been bothered to throw them out. Now go nope. talk to Alice. I still have to go talk. To... I thought. I thought I finished Alice, but okay. I did. I was trying to see what I could get away with not doing. Nothing. Because technically, talking to Alice is not the same as cleaning her room, which she already did. If you give me some personal information, I could take better care of you. Well, that was... What about your mother? Will she be home soon? Your father said you chose Alice. Me name. Alice will remember that. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go. Your favorite foods? That would really help me. Yes, you got it. Yay. Because you cannot get it. It's true. You can not get it. A key. It's a key. I wonder what the key's for. Oh, you know oh. that box over there? The path is unlocked. Interesting. But I chose the road not traveled, and it made all the difference. <gasps> That's so sad! It's just a key. Okay. Thank you for the key. That must be her token of friendship. You didn't open the box. Like... Not required. What are you doing? I'm playing. I I'm playing. You're playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. She's like, no, you don't. I think your dad's a low life. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah, yep. Loser. Yep. Yeah, that's it. a job. Take care of his family. Oh, I didn't know you didn't have a job, but sure. Don't you think I tried to make things work? Yeah, you probably did. But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fall up. I'm sure, it's not you. I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it. You hate me. Okay. I hate you, Todd. God. What am I doing? Bipolar disorder, I guess. I'm sorry, honey. Her face. I'm sorry. Help me. Oh, I'm sorry. Daddy, her face. Daddy. You know I love you, don't you? Alice is. What about you know it? I love she you. looked at Kara. Her face. Help me. Mm hmm. Okay. Comments. You didn't really just you just mostly just skipped a few optional tasks. Like you didn't miss anything big except for you know missing an opening Alice's box. Yeah, no, that's true. I didn't skip too much. No, because I had you the, can't really. Because skip you're not too allowed much. to skip, and and the because the, that's your job. You're supposed to be focused on um, cleaning the house, um, throwing away all the stuff. Right, and realistically this part of this is more of a stage setting and a training the gamer in how to play this game kind of situation that's really what this scene is all about it introduces you to Todd it introduces you to his daughter Alice it introduces you to the way Todd interacts with it, the world it gets you clear it gets it clear that Todd is definitely down on his luck so to speak he has a lot of problems he has some mental health problems he has drug addiction and alcohol addiction problems going on, um, which, regardless of the kind of person you are, that automatically puts that that auto, that automatically ups the difficulty level in life for you. And you can see that's clearly being re reflected there. You can see he's out of a job. It also sounds like he's got some kind of illicit, illegal job going on. Like he's get he's got money coming in because obviously he can afford a robot, right? He's 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 paying the rent on the house or he owns the house outright or something. So he's not he's not literally destitute in the streets or anything. Um but he's also living a bit on the margins. Oh he also has like a nice new car too it looks like right that truck looked pretty you know like pretty good. Um and uh he's also uh he's a mean person. He's violent. He acts he treats people 
very badly. Probably because he feels like life's treating him pretty badly, right? Um, so we're going to learn more about him as, as we go forward here and as this relationship. And we're also going to learn a lot more about Alice as time goes on. And the relationship between Todd and Kara as well as Kara and Alice is going to get uh, pretty interesting. Now that said... It also, I, I find it interest. It's an interesting game, game cho design choice that they made the player go through these very menial tasks, right? They make you wash the dishes. They make you collect the garbage. They make you collect the laundry. They make you clean up after Todd, clean his bathroom, for God's sake, right? Um, I'm kind of surprised they didn't make you go into the toilet, but I guess that probably would have, that probably would have been too much. What do you think? <laughs> but uh, there, there's one other thing, too, is that one of the things I missed is a choice that most players probably will just make, which is you got a key. There's a box that the key belongs to. Go ahead and open it. Um, I, Did I, that change something? I guess we'll find out. Won't I we? bet when we it did. Because obviously Zoe made that choice. If you watch the obviously. playthrough, the, the video we watched with her, Zoe made the choice to open the box, and it teaches you a little bit more about Alice, Alice and how her mother seems to never be home right her, as you it... see you see in, you get a little information about her mother and you also get a little bit of information about why Kara was in the shop for repairs let's just leave it at that all right we're gonna we're gonna cut this video and then we're gonna start a new one for the next one that way we keep these videos mapped one to one little logistics there little 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 project management this is how I'm going ending on. now all right that's the end of Kara I almost said a new hope. Uh, Cara, a, new, a new hope. A new hope. <laughs> it's hope. Episode four, a new hope. Um, and uh, we will get back with the next episode in line, which the is the painter. And we'll learn. That's about we'll Marcus. To, we'll go back to Marcus and learn about where he lives and what his family life is like. Okay. And.